In the landscapes of Ladakh, a seeming politician riding a bike has ignited a heated political debate. The photographs are of none other than Rahul Gandhi's bike journey to Pangong Lake, which set off a fierce political debate between the BJP and the Congress party. BJP took a jibe at Rahul Gandhi and applauded him for displaying the excellent roads developed in Himalayan region under Prime Minister Narendra Modi's leadership. Rahul Gandhi's photos from the trip instantly went viral as netizens swooned over his cool appearance, donning riding in gear, leading a convoy of bikers on the breathtaking roads of Lata. However, the BJP raised concerns about the people accompanying him on his expedition to Pangong Soli. The BJP alleged that three individuals in the group were foreign nationals, sparking further controversy. The names brought by the BJP drew attention. The controversy led to attempts at verification. The organizers scoured official records and different websites to authenticate the identities provided by the BJP. While some details surface about Shakir Mohammad Nurali Mirali and Logi Vensi, a definite profile of Sadiq Irfan Kemani Mirali remained elusive. First on the list was Shakir Mohammad Nurali Mirali, a 51 year old Kenyan venture capitalist and former director of Igloo.com, the UK's prominent sky and cruise travel agency. Next, Vinci is an Italian born electrical engineer employed at Qualcomm in Ireland. His professional background revolves around digital design, computer architecture, and memory subsystem analysis. As for Sadiq Irfan Kimani Mirali, the information remains less clear. Social media posts suggested that he is a Kenyan student born in 2004. As Rahul Gandhi's stance toward China has been perceived as lenient in the past, concerns depend about the intention behind their presence. The question arises here is that who gave them the permission to move to sensitive border areas? The lack of clarity regarding their roles and affiliations intensifies the debate with many demanding transparency and accountability on the matters of national security. The situation underscores the need for open discourse on foreign relations and enforces the importance of safeguarding border regions with diligence. The Congress has maintained a pro-Chinese stance for a considerable period. On August 7, 2008, the then Congress General Secretary Rahul Gandhi signed a rare and crucial memorandum of understanding with Chinese Communist Party which promote exchanges at various levels. Rahul Gandhi has signed the MOU with Wang Jia Rui, Minister in the International Department of CPC, in the presence of Sonia Gandhi and Xi Jinping at the Great Hall of People in Beijing. During his recent visit to the Stanford University campus in California, Rahul Gandhi was asked about the current state of India-China relation, to which he replied, It's tough right now, I mean they have occupied some of our territory. The BJP contended that Rahul Gandhi's statement sometimes echoed Beijing's propaganda machinery, accusing him of defaming India.